Hey folks, Colin Gray from the Australian Rock Show here with you today, and today I want to do a video review of the new album by Joe Blanton, a guy who you may not be familiar with, but that should all change with the release of his long-awaited debut solo album called Good, Bad, Right or Wrong. This guy oozes rock and roll legitimacy and needs to be on your rock radar, and here's why. Joe Blanton invokes the spirit of Chuck Berry, early 70s Stones, Quo, John Fogarty, yet blends it with his own distinctive melodic sensibilities. Comparisons aside, this is one hell of an impressive debut album that should resonate with fans of classic rock and Americana. Joe Blanton first came to prominence in the mid-80s via a band called the Royal Court of China, a band who released a couple of impressively original hard rock albums on A&M Records that unfortunately got lost amongst the glut of late 80s LA heavy metal sludge. In recent years though, Joe Blanton has been a prime mover in the Bluefields, a high-profile Nashville-based band that features Dan Baird, Warner Hodges and Brad Pemberton of Steve Earle's band. In their ranks, the Bluefields have released three albums of vital, engaging and relevant rock and roll, and it was with the Bluefields that really made punters sit up and pay attention to this Blanton guy. Joe Blanton has been a significant collaborator on recent albums by both Dan Baird and Warner Hodges, and has brought much musical muscle to the table, and not just in terms of songwriting or playing. Joe Blanton's a great producer, he's an engineer, and he's known in industry terms as a guy with a good ear. Joe Blanton's input into both Baird and Hodges' albums over recent years can't be understated. He's turned good albums into great ones, and consistently so. Joe Blanton also filled in for Baird on some US and Euro dates last year, when Dan Baird was out of action and being treated for leukemia. Which brings me to his album Good, Bad, Right or Wrong. There are 10 tunes on this album and there's no sign of filler. Top to bottom, this is one solid outing, with Blanton having written all the tunes, with the exception of four co-written with Dan Baird. As well as playing 99% of the instruments on this album as well. The album opens with the groove heavy along for the ride. Now this is a great song which is highlighted by a stirring middle eight and is a very strong vocal. There's an unassuming southern quality to the tune Love Is Heavy, from its big raucous verses to an almost plaintive post-chorus soft vocal. Super catchy with sing-along hooks and flush with euphemisms. This is a superb tune. The big sounding 70s rock of Lie To Yourself is another that hits the mark with its blue denim, beat up Telecaster quality and cheap trick like chorus. If you want to hit single, this could be the one. How about another one? How about the scorches like Here Is My Song or Wearing Me Out? There's another great rocker with sing-along chorus and Keith Richards like swagger that should satisfy the purists. Yet it's the splintering guitar work that is the icing on the cake. It's a killer tune. As is the tune Americana Breakdown. Radio-friendly chorus and Springsteen-like themes throughout the song. It's another great tune. It's a fine example of what a melodic pop song with a hard edge should be. Absolutely love the big drums, echoing guitars, and swampy blues on the expansive Poison Well. It's also hard to go past the sinister groove that underlies Forgetful Heart before it breaks out with another big chorus and bland and searing guitar work. How can I not mention the tune, That Was Now, This Is Then? This hits another bullseye and is total quo fogarty. Smoking hard rocker, this one purrs like a well-tuned muscle car. Whilst there's a nod to the past on this album, Blanton has managed to create a record that is both memorable, original, and contemporary. Super catchy, hook-heavy songs with an excess of melody, Blanton's use of instrumentation is superb, as, his, as is his effective use of both space and fill in the songs. This allows the listener to hear each song and its various arrangements on their own merits. His raspy rock voice suits the material perfectly. I'm already on record as naming Dan Baird and Homemade Sin's Screamer album as the 2018 album of the year. Joe Blanton's Good, Bad, Right or Wrong is pretty damn comprehensive though and comes in a very close second. Very impressive and thoroughly recommended. I give this album, the debut album from Joe Blanton, 10 out of 10. This album's released out now. It was released on the 1st of December 2018 on Underground Treehouse Records. For more information, go to thebluefields.com. Thanks, folks. Talk to you soon.